and welcome to Take Time to Create. This is where we take time out of our everyday lives to create new and wonderful things. My name is Linda and today we're just going to do a swatch test of the Arteza metallic acrylic paints. Now I picked this up, I purchased this myself. Um, I've been seeing this brand all over online and I was very curious. You guys know I love metallic paint. I love anything to do with metallic paint. That's usually what I grab for. And I'm always on the lookout for more acrylic paints. Um, not just acrylic, but metallic paints. I love metallics. So I decided I would uh, purchase my own and this is a box of 36. And first of all, they're beautiful. They're packaged very nicely, very beautiful. They will never go back into this box ever again <laughs> because that's just not the way I work. I'm more of a pile filer and I will link up in the iCard my studio when I cleaned it and made it all fancy dancy, but um, I will probably just throw these in a drawer and they will be just fine. So let's look at them. And I know there have been about 800,000 reviews online about these and um, very varying degrees of what people love and what they don't, but I'm just excited just to try them out. So you have the tube and um, very cute. Just looks like a regular tube. Um, yeah, and then you open it up and it's ready to go. Very standard, very basic. They have um, their light fastness on here. Now, the light fastness is important to a lot of people. Um, to me, it's not as important because I do work in my art journal a lot. The other thing is, is light fastness isn't as big of a deal to me because I work on fabric and there is no light fastness with fabric. Fabric fades. It, it's just the nature of fabric. So I do spray most of my art with a UV spray and that's just because fabric will fade. So I'm, I'm always fighting that and that's always my lowest light fastness because I know that that's going to be the biggest problem. So um, what we're going to do is we are going to... Um, well, we're gonna test them out. So what I have, I have a canvas board here and I painted black stripes in black gesso. And this is just golden black gesso. Picked it up at a craft store. And I'm going to compare it on the white and on the black. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I do a lot of things that um, are on dark and I wanted to see how it works. Um, I, I wanna see, how it reacts, what it does, you know, those kinds of things. Um, I've seen a lot of beautiful swatch videos and what they do is they write the name of the paint and they write, uh, you know, details about it as they, as they go so they can match it up. But if you guys have been around for more than two seconds, you know, that's not exactly the way I work. I just grab any old paint and just go to town. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I don't always worry about the names of the paint. I don't always worry, um, I don't always worry about, is this the exact one? If it's not exactly right, I'll grab maybe a little bit more or I'll grab a different one or I'll just kind of just use what I grabbed. Uh, I, maybe I should be a little more picky about paints or names, but I'm, I'm not. <laughs> so, um, so far, these are really pretty. These are really nice. Um, they suit my needs, but well, we'll see. I'm also going to do um, a project with these on fabric. So you guys will get to see that, which I think will be really fun um, to see how they, how they work with my standard fabric canvases. Um, but yeah, so let me show you these. Look how pretty those are. They they are really super pretty. Um, I, I am enjoying it. Um, but my biggest problem is I don't want to wash out 36 brushes and I keep rinsing the same one out and then drying it off, but it's still so soaking wet. I might just use my finger because... There we go. <laughs> then I'll just... Yeah. That's what we're gonna do because I don't wanna wash 36 brushes and I keep, the other one just keeps getting so soaking wet. I don't love it. So I'm just gonna use my finger. Um, <laughs> if any of you guys have been following me along long enough, you know that I just kinda go to town, just jump in and if I'm not loving the paintbrush, then the finger, here we come. And let me lift that up. That is so pretty. 
There we go. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to start in this green row. And I'm not doing rainbow order like all the others that do such a beautiful job. I'm going to turn this like this. Um, <laughs> but as you all know, this is how I use these colors in the real world. So to me, this is an accurate swatch test with my use habits. So um, if you are more of the kind to write down the names and use your paintbrush with it, the swatch, there are so many people out there that have done that way. Um, ooh, I really like that one, that olivey green. What is it called? Pearl olive green. <laughs> That's really pretty. Ooh, that'd be really good on ground, grass. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just keep on doing all the paints. I'm also going to do a comparison with other metallic paints that I own. So, uh, but at the end of that. So let me just kind of move along, turn on some music, speed up the film, and um, we'll just finish doing this. So yeah, this is fun. These are pretty, really pretty. All of the swatches are done and I have to say they're really pretty. I don't see a red red. I see like a maroon red and the pinky reds, but I don't see more of a red red ish, but um, still super pretty, um, super shiny. I do love, you know, the metallics down here, the golds, the bronze, the coppers, uh, the greens are really nice. I don't, I see an olive green, but not like a forest green, but really it, it's not a big deal. I mean, I like to mix colors and, and it's not that big of a deal. So what I'm gonna do now is compare. So what I have is um, this color, it's pearl turquoise, and then this is teal topaz in folk art, and they're not exactly the same color, and I think that's this one here, yeah. Um, I don't have all the folk art colors, of course not, um, but what I want to do is check how shiny they are compared to each other. Um, I also have, uh, this pearl electric blue and I have blue sapphire folk art. I just want to see, do they match shininess? Um, are, are they comparable as it comes to, uh, when, with your metallic paints? Okay. Well, honestly, I think they are the size. This is uh, two fluid ounces or 59 milliliters. Uh, this is 22 or 0.74 fluid ounces. Um, so there is quite a difference in size, uh, but quality could be better. Um, I, I'm thinking their teaser might be better quality. I don't know. Uh, but just doing a swatch, they look pretty similar. Uh, the Arteza ones kind of have a nice little shift to them, but you can't really see it there, especially this uh, turquoisey one. But they're both really super pretty. Uh, just as a comparison, I just want to show you guys, show what's out there. These, of course, are craft store paints and they're craft quality. Uh, these are more touted, more of an artist quality. They are premium, so, um, and they do have the light fastness. They've got a lot of information. The folk art does not. So. I'm also now going to compare, um, I love the Finnabar paints. You guys know this, I love the Finnabar paints, the metallic 
paints, the Sparks paints, and she did come out with some more colors that I probably just need to pick up because I love them. This color is called Deep Waters, and I don't think it's identical to the blue, but it's pretty close. We can look at the sheen. We can look at how it looks. Um, they're not exactly the same color, but we can kind of get an idea. Okay, so it's a really shiny color. I do know it's really hard to see um, on, on this board, but you can kind of see that you, with the Arteza and the uh, Folk Art, you can still see the black gesso, but hers really covered up the black gesso. So if that's important to you, I would maybe uh, go toward more Finnabar paint because it does cover up more of the black gesso. Her stuff does not have the light fastness as well. So if that's important, then I would go with a paint that does call that out. Um, her paint does have a nice sheen. As this stuff is drying down, like this orange is it's still pretty dry uh, or still pretty wet, but it is starting to dry down like the edges. Still super duper pretty. I am thrilled with them. So for my swatch test, for this initial test, I think they're really pretty. I'm, I'm impressed. I like them. I think they will suit my needs very perfectly. Will they suit everyone's needs? No, but that's why there's a billion other kinds of paint out there. But I am really happy. I, I think they're pretty. I, I'm loving these colors. So like I said earlier, I am going to um, do a project with these probably next week so I can see how they perform on fabric. That's my biggest question because that's how I use them the most. And I might even do a, a journal page as well so we can really go to town and really see how these work and how these perform in my applications. Um, every artist is a little different and every artist has different needs, but for me, I think they're beautiful. So I'm pretty excited. Um, anyway, yeah. So that is my swatch testing for these new Arteza acrylic metallic paints. And I got the 36 box. Um, this is not sponsored, not an ad. I did purchase these with my own money, uh, but I will put a link down below if you are interested in these as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. You can find me on Instagram. I have two of them. I have Take Time to Create and Linda's Journey 78. Take Time to Create is all my crafty goodies. Linda's Journey 78 is just all my personal stuff. I also have, um, a blog and I have Facebook and I have a second YouTube channel. All of that is in the description box down below so you can find links to everything. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time.